Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi and behind the camera we have Ben and today I'm going to take you to my favorite restaurant in London. I kind of hope that this video doesn't get too famous because then it will be filled up with paper while I will never be able to find a table. And if you're wondering what place am I talking about, it is called, I believe, Fat Fact, but don't get me wrong, it is a Vietnamese noodle bar and it makes delicious soups, it's very affordable and oh my god the wind, I hate it! But you guys, I hope you're ready for an adventure because basically we came to one part of London to film the Borough Market but the thing is, it's kind of close today so I, instead I decided to share my secret with you and take you to this amazing restaurant which for some reason is not very well known. So where are we going now? Now we are kind of going to Chelsea which... Where, where is it? On the other side. So it's like around over there. We have quite a long way to go and we're very hungry so let's go. definitely rush. Right. Okay, let's go. And if you want to see more videos from London or travel related content, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Because you know, you'll get tons of tips all for free. If you're new, I'm super happy and excited to see you here. Thank you all what for being at me. It was like, never run. Thank you all for being here with me. No, I'm honestly super grateful and happy for every single one of you. And you guys, this restaurant is located in Chelsea, for which I also made a video last November in 2020 and I wanted to show you how different everything looks. Just look at it. First of all, of course, because it's raining, but then also the stores are closed or restaurants are closed. You barely see a person and it's just such a sad atmosphere. Whereas now, I have to say, we have really gone through a lot in the past year. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well and I'm sending you lots of hugs and positive vibes. And something which I totally love about Fat Pack, a part of its funny name is that it's such a hidden gem. We're in the middle of Chelsea, which is a little bit of a posh area and then you go into Fat Pack and it's super budget friendly and they cook literally inside the tent. I have to show you. And here we are, ready to go into the restaurant and don't make me butcher again its name, but I just have to say that it means Happy Buddha. And it is something in between self-service and table service because you have to go there and order but after that they bring you the food once it's ready. As a starter we got dim sum with prawn which costed six pounds for this four but I really have to say that they have increased the prices quite a lot because before they used to cost four pounds fifty which is quite a big increase. And this is Ben who just cannot wait to eat. That's an interesting choice to start. And he actually got the steamed rice with veggies and roasted pork. It costed nine pounds, but I have to say also this one before used to be eight. I'm seeing a quite big price increase in pretty much all restaurants and not only, don't get me started into the council tags. And you guys, let me know in the comments down below, is it also the same for you, for the place where you're living? A funny and a little bit ignorant argument we usually have with Ben when using chopsticks is which is actually the right hand position. You guys, please tell me, how do you use them? Is the V-shape up or down? And no matter the price increase, the dim sum were still as delicious as before and all filled up with shrimp. 
and it's different from the dim sum that I usually get because the outside part of it, it's kind of more gummy. Yum, 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 and I really wanted to tell you more about the food and the overall experience, but it was so full with people that it was quite impossible. Also because the tables are very close to each other, they are like 10 or 15 centimeters one from another, or there are also some shared tables like the ones that we were sitting at. And I got my all-time favorite laksa. And if you have never had it before, it's this type of spicy coconut curry soup. It's typical for Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia. But trust me when I say spicy. And the taste was as rich and creamy and delicious and full of flavor just as I remember it. As you can see, there are a lot of noodles inside and also like four or five prawns but what makes laksa unique is the coconut inside and as you can see like this is what gives the distinctive both taste flavor and uh, color to it and i don't know if you can notice this but at this point my eyes were basically watery from all the spicy food but you keep on eating because it's too good How is it going? No, it's going pretty well. So like I finished all the pool. It was really delicious, you know. Now I have like a lot of rice. Ooh, it's wrong. My grandpa eats it. And are there any Anthony Bourdain fans on this channel? Because I totally miss him. Anyways, the late Anthony once called it the breakfast of gods. I'm not really sure if someone eats it for breakfast, but I totally love it. And just a quick sneak peek into the situation of the restaurant every winter. Basically, it is kind of a tent which is closed in this way, but I was unfortunate enough to sit in the corner and it was a little bit cold, but the spicy food was keeping me warm. If you get something from this video, I really hope it is that first of all, you should try laksa if you haven't had it before. And also, if you find yourself in London, definitely give Fat Pack a go because it is great value for money and I have had the best pho and laksa in there. Hope you enjoyed this spontaneous and definitely not expected video this week. And don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below if you actually want to see Borough Market next week. Love you all. Bye.